What's going on? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be running a number of different tests on the brand new 10th generation iPad. As always, I will be uploading a number of different videos testing the camera's performance and comparing it to other iPads. So if you are new around here, then be sure to subscribe, clicking the bell icon to be notified when those videos go live. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. The first benchmarking application which I ran on this iPad was Geekbench 6. Now Geekbench runs a number of different tests and once these tests have been completed, it will then give a score based on the time taken to complete those tasks. Now the score that I got for the single core side of things was 1996 and on the multi core side I got a score of 4548. And when running the compute test through Geekbench 6 to test how well the metal engine ran through Geekbench, I got a score here of 16,474. The next benchmarking application which I ran on this 10th generation iPad was once again from Geekbench, but this time from their machine learning set of tests. So when running this test on the CPU, I got a score of 836. When testing it on the GPU, I got a score of 1974. And when testing the machine learning performance of the neural engine found on the Apple Silicon chip found within this iPad, I got a score of 2,476. The next set of tests I ran on this 10th generation iPad were from GFX Bench Metal. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which range from higher and lower levels of intensity. Now in the interest of saving time, I have calculated the average across both of these categories. And as always, I will show you each individual result result. So for the higher level intensive tasks, I got an average FPS of 81.45 frames per second. And when testing on the lower intensive tasks, I got a score of 186.14 frames per second. I then performed a Wi-Fi speed test and got a network download speed of 522 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 102 megabytes per second. The next set of tests which I ran on this iPad were this time from 3D Mark, and the first of these was the wildlife graphics test. The interesting thing here is it completely maxed out the score, although it did give me an average FPS of 46.1 frames per second. Therefore, I chose to run the wildlife stress test. Now, when running this test, the highest score that I got was 7,755, and the lowest I got was 5,908, which gives us a decrease in performance of around 27% which goes to show that the A14 within this iPad is not being adequately cooled. I then chose to run the Wildlife Extreme Graphics Test, and when running this test, I got a score of 2,114, with an average FPS of 12.7 frames per second, which is horrible to say the least, but yeah, it's not no iPad Pro Graphics, I'll tell you that much. I therefore ran the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, and the best score that I achieved here was 2,124, and the lowest I achieved was 1,884, which is a decrease in performance of around 12%. I then ran the Antutu benchmark. It is worth noting that this tests out multiple different aspects of the iPad from the RAM, the system memory, the storage, the GPU, literally everything across the board. So with this test, I got a score of 669,199. And when running the Antutu HTML benchmark, I got a HTML score of 59,457. Another test which was once again ran from Antutu was the storage test. And for this test, I got a score of 16,860. With this test, the sequential read and write speeds that I got for the storage was a read speed of 221.3 megabytes per second, along with a write speed of 681.4 megabytes per second. And when testing the read and write speeds of the system memory, it got read speeds of 56.2 megabytes per second and write speeds of 27 megabytes per second. I then ran a timed iMovie export, exporting a five minute, 24 second video file to 4K, which took three minutes and 27 seconds to export.
So that'll be it for today's video. If you have got any questions or if there is anything that you would like to see further tested, then be sure to let me know down below in the comment section or alternatively, you can hit me up on my social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, links to which can be found down below in this video's description. If you want to be one of the first 5,000 people on the channel to subscribe, then go ahead and do so, as of course I will be uploading a hell of a lot of videos over the coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when those videos go live. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.